Hello, hello, and welcome, my Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your work, career, and vocation read. I'm your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998, the Archangel of Lyons, Mark Angelo Lyons, but you can call me Mal. Hey, <laughs> hey, my crab cakes, how you doing? Time for the work, career, vocation reads. I'm going to Saratoga to visit my mom, a Cancerian. Gonna get my uh, <coughs> my J and J in the arm, if you know what I'm talking about. Mom's making the appointment. You're gonna drive me there because I'm a top. I do not like being penetrated. And we're getting ice cream afterwards. I'm so excited. <laughs> she's a Cancerian. She's only got like a kitten to mother up there, so uh, she's excited. I'm excited and really glad to be reading from a crab cakes. I love you guys so much. Uh, so let's just talk about this. If you are new to the channel, this is uh, oh, a three level of power read. I could do this with so many other different things, uh, but my guides have been consistently uh, <laughs> guiding me to do these readings for people for decades now. I first learned about the three levels of power from Carolyn Mace, MYSS. PhD. Uh, this is her deck. Uh, she's got other cards, but this is the one that I really love using uh, to do readings for clients for decades and decades. Um, there is a link in the description box below. Uh, Carolyn Mace lecturing, I think, back in the late 90s, early uh, 2000s, I think, on the three levels of power. I just checked it. It's part one or part A, whatever. So uh, it's a way of looking at life through these uh, three lenses at once. Work, career, vocation just being one of those. I do these for clients all the time and it really is the foundation for a bunch of other readings. I do like a soul contract read, but we'll talk about that another time. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is 12 cards on the table. Three Carolyn Mace archetype cards to represent the crown chakra dynamic, the archetypal power going on in your work, your career, and your vocation. Your physical power, your mental emotional power, and your spiritual power. Getting those in alignment is sort of key uh, for uh, life purpose stuff, right? What really fulfills us, bringing that into alignment. Then we're going to get Three Daughters of the Moon uh, Tarot to look at the heart, throat, third eye crown, right? So we're going eighth chakra, then heart, throat, third eye crown. Well, I did that reverse, you know what I mean, right? What's going on in your interior world? Then we will get three mythic tarot to look at what's going on, root, sacrum, and solar plexus chakras. Either something going on in the physical aspect of your work, career, vocation, or you from the outside looking in. And then we will get to three healing mantra cards from Matt Kahn uh, to work with here so that you can really start uh, bringing these into alignment, just like chakra alignment. You want your inspiration to become right information that you can choose, that you can feel, that you can activate your personal empowerment. Second chakra, root chakra, out it goes. So it's all about alignment. So it, it is your spiritual path, but it's through your life purpose. So uh, I'll explain the rest of that as I go. I'm tired of explaining all this stuff, but you know it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, check your other signs, uh, because some might be more focused on your work than your career or vocation. You know, as that plays out, all the decks that I read are always at the bottom of the description box. And all I can ask from anybody watching any of my videos, and it's completely voluntary, both feet on the floor if you can, right? Stay here now with me, right? So that you can feel what resonates. You're a cancer and you know it's here. Take what resonates. I don't think people know what that means, right? Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it doesn't resonate. Right? When something's not your read, it's like, meh, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's your read. It's just how it works. I've been doing this for too long. I started reading tarot when I was 12 years old. I'm 52. Yes, I know I don't. Thank you. Uh, so let's have fun with this as we can. <coughs> let's see. <coughs> okay. When I cough on camera, because I don't cough a lot, that means that there's something in the heart trying to make its way through the throat up to the third eye so you can see it. So it's probably emotional. So let's do this. Please take a nice deep breath. Yes, all the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box which a lot with a lot of cool educational links as well as stuff that I do on Vimeo that's about spiritual teaching, which I've been doing forever, it seems. So let's do this. All right, Hestia, Herodicote, let's do this. My collective 
pantheons of angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters of life, purpose, and the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above eighth chakra. And above, please, I need three cards for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this uh, reading. What is the dominant archetype in their work? Lower three chakras, their survival intuition, right? How they survive that turn left, turn right kind of gut stuff, right? That gut intuition, what's going on uh, in their career, the dominant archetype there, heart, third, third eye crown, their hunger, their thirst, their passion, lights them up, and in their vocation, their spiritual calling in that eighth chakra, visionary intuition, sort of like Phoebe Halliwell, without a, <laughs> uh, without a, uh, <laughs> sisters. Uh, uh, interesting, you've got a creative family archetype, a wisdom family archetype, and an action family archetype. Very interesting. In your work, you have the networker. So if you are involved in social media, or that is just something that you have to do for work, I get ya. Because, <laughs> you know, it's not just make a video, put it out there, right? It's like, I've got Buffer, wonderful app, Buffer, if any of the other readers are out there, allows you to post to several platforms at once, really, really good deal. I'm subscribed there, right? And how many of you have had to move to Zoom to work, right? So there's a lot of networking here, but all archetypes are neutral. The uh, shadow attribute and the light attribute were all somewhere in the middle, right? So uh, it's about healing that, right? In your uh, career, you've got the hermit. Now, somebody just got this. Who got this? Where did I see it? Oh, 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 same position too. Gemini, the reading I did right before this. Same positioning in the career. So, of course, if you have uh, any uh, planets in Gemini or maybe are dealing with somebody who has planets in Gemini, you might want to have a looksy dooksy on that one. Uh, and in, I love this, in, oh, this feels really good. The Avenger, Hawkeye, <laughs> Scarlet Witch, <laughs> Scarlet Johansson, whoever, uh, uh, action family archetype, uh, the Avenger, it is all about balancing the scales of justice. Now, just looking at this right here, the, the dominant vibe here, gotta say, archetypally, this is not feeling divine feminine energy, right? The, the sacred empaths. This feels like the divine masculine energy, the social justicers. First wave is divine feminine, second wave is divine masculine, third wave we're not even talking about right now, right? The waves of ascension. And I'll explain why as we go there, but first let's read you what's on these cards that Caroline uh, had the grace and guidance to make for us. The shadow attribute of the networker. Are you ready? Take a deep breath conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. Something about news not being authentic? I'm not saying those words on YouTube. Uh, the light attribute enhances unity through sharing of information engenders social awareness and empathy. Right? Now, as, <laughs> like, as much as I love Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you know, it's a spectrum. Right? This definitely feels social media. It's in the world. It's in the physical level of power, the literal, level, the literal world, the physical literal world there. Um, but, you know, sometimes I have that reaction like when I'm watching TV and I'm not looking at the screen and all of a sudden I hear Sarah McLaughlin and I'm like, ah! <laughs> like dive for the... I mean, I, I'm an animal advocate for sure. I'm a black cat ad advocate. Uh, black cats come to me. I take them. And I even now have a set of black cat ferals that I feed, yeah, outside the, the exterior guard. So, you know, it's it's that thing with that Avenger. You definitely have this calling. We'll get to that, but you're definitely posting about it. But here's the interesting thing, as external as both of these are, in your interior world, heart, third, third eye crown, you've got the hermit. I love the hermit. It's not the tarot card of the hermit, because let me, let me, although this would be a good, if you're learning tarot, to, to look into this, because every tarot card is neutral. Again, a sliding scale from lead to gold, shadow to light. The shadow attribute withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others. Now, that's different than protecting yourself, right? Especially after this last year and however how many months. Uh, refusing to help those in need. That's no bueno, right? It's like, if you're watching my stuff on my channel, chances are that's not the part of it. But if you are dealing with the shadow, withdrawing out of society, because people are just fucking nuts right now is one thing. 
Uh, the other is, I hate people. <laughs> it's different. Uh, the light attribute seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity, and you've got a creative family archetype in the physical world. So you really checking in with yourself is key because you know... Now, look, I was raised by a Cancerian mother. I think I have some street cred on this. Moody. <laughs> the decisions you make when you're burnt out, when you're inflamed. I mean, she was a nursery school teacher. That's why I'm really good at colors and shapes. Uh, but, you know, after a long day of dealing with other people's kids, she wasn't always that. This is a very, very long time ago. We're, we're very close. We talk almost every day. Uh, uh, but it is very much that, right? At the end of the day, like, if I see one more kid, right? <laughs> Mom, what's that you're putting in your coffee? <laughs> Drosties, look it up. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you're taking that Cancerian hermit crab. I mean, really, it's the hermit crab. <laughs> Carry it in your house with you wherever you go. Do you know one of the original symbols of cancer was the turtle? Doesn't that make more sense? I think so. The Avenger. <laughs> What I wouldn't do for Tony Stark. I don't know, though. He might implant shit in me. Uh, the shadow attribute, uh, resorting to violence in the name of a cause. And this is the vibe on this. It, I mean, it feels good up here. But, you know, if you're willing to burn down the village to make a point, who's you're, you're doing harm, right? So I'm going to think in the eighth chakra, that's not what this is. Uh, desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on uh, behalf of society or oneself. So this could be about you, but I am getting with this networker definitely that societal part of it, right? Uh, the word righteous, though, is such a trigger for people because it's been used in such a toxic way. The opposite of righteous is abuse, right? So think of it this way, right use, abuse. I told you I was raised by a teacher, right? So the right use, if you want to, if that word triggers you, because it does me, uh, a lot of righteous people I've known have done some pretty toxic shit behind the scenes. Uh, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. Okay, uh, but I think this this template is set. Let's see what's going on in that heart thir third eye crown. Now I'm going to say... Uh, that's the eighth chakra. So this is really dominant in your uh, vocation. Uh, these cards will really give some indication to the heart, throat, third eye crown of the career. Please take a nice deep breath. Hestia, Hera, Hakate, my goddesses of uh, cancer, please. I need three cards to clarify what's going on in the interior world. The heart, throat, third eye crown in the work, career, vocation for the Cancerian Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading. They've got the networker, shadow to light. This should indicate where they are in that, please. We'll do them face down, no problem. Uh, the hermit in their career. This is going to probably be dominant. And the avenger in their, that one, that one, their vocation clear audience for fun and profit. Let's see. Oh, oh, three major arcana cards. And you see how I pull cards. I don't draw off the top. Whatever card they stick in my hand is the one I take. Uh, and two of these are really challenging. You've got the networker with oppression. Now, I'm sorry. I look at Avenger and I see the word oppression. There, you feel the link there? Are you being oppressed? Are you feeling oppressed in your work? Now, as a networker, I mean, I get that. I get that. I mean, if I never go to another networking meeting again, unless there's certain, unless it's an open bar, I'm not going. Uh, this is half of the devil card. The other half of this, uh, this is Daughters of the Moon. It's a feminist deck, so they're not using uh, patriarchal imagery, really. Uh, but it's a woman buried under rocks in a burning uh, in a burning house. And now the doors are open. She could walk out, except for those rocks on top of her, which have the faces of other people. Are you being repressed by social media? Are you being oppressed by social media? Is that part of your work that you're just like, this is killing me. I don't want to do this anymore. Or are there real chains of fear about it? That is only something that you can know in a general read, but don't worry. We're going to see from the outside looking in once these three are uh, looked at. The Hermit with Temperance, darling. Internal healing, but look, 
people really fluff up the temperance card. Usually it's Archangel Michael. Here this is not. This is a woman balancing fire and water, desire and emotion. You can really want something but be terrified of it puts out the fire. Uh, you can really want something, but don't have the emotional backing for it, <laughs> and, uh, and it evaporates the water, right? So uh, it's usually Archangel Michael. He's the, one of the ass kickers of the four. Well, they all are. All Archangels are. I'm connected to Archangel Ariel, not one of the major four, but essentially wife to Uriel, which is a good gig when he's not guarding Tartarus, which is always... Um, Please watch some videos on YouTube about tempering metal. <laughs> I watch them every day. <laughs> These, like, if you just... Uh, the awesome Renovations is really good. When they take these rusted, busted stuff and they, like, attach it to electrodes and salted water and leave it for 24 hours, it's just amazing, right? And then, they, then they'll take it and they'll put it in a furnace and heat it up to, like, 10,000 degrees and then dip it in motor oil to temper. It's called tempered steel. This is a process. Tempering takes time, it takes pressure, and it takes heat, right? So your interior creativity may not have the answer yet, but you will, you will, but it's going to take time. So it might not be time to jump out of this just yet, because some of these chains, uh, these rocks, these the psychic weight holding you down, it's to make you stronger. It's to temper you, right? So that's why your interior world at this point, way more important than your exterior world. Particularly with the Avenger, with Phoenix. Now she was an X-Man, <laughs> not an Avenger. I'm such a comic book geek. My Bette Midler shirt and my <laughs> Winifred Forever and my Diana's behind me. Uh, this is major transformation going on for you spiritually. Now I'm gonna say, uh, this is now feeling, yes, I get the social justice part of it, um, but righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. I feel like you're going through a major spiritual death and rebirth right now. I, well, with death in the crown, this is the death card, and uh, the crown in, uh, in the eighth chakra, and, and uh, in your vocation, in this, in your career, you may be going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul in this. And remember, it ain't just 12 hours. Uh, dark nights can last years, but you are being alchemized, temporized for something bigger. Um, so desire to balance the scales of justice, really important. And righteousness, right use, so important. Get up into that uh, uh, eighth chakra as often as you can through prayer, through meditation, because the crown chakra is the penthouse. The eighth chakra is the satellite. You want the GPS view on this stuff. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie pokey. Uh, let's see. Let's get a mythic tarot here. Let me ask my gods. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> okay. All right. I get it. Um, my gods of uh, water and the sign of cancer, please. Three cards. What does this look like from the outside looking in? The root sacrum and solar plexus. Chakra aspect of work, career, vocation for this Cancerian collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Watching this video, receiving this reading. Please, I got the networker with oppression. That the really the chains of the devil card. And I, I don't know how much shadow work is involved here with this. I just really, really feel like these, these you're feeling limited and hence needing to balance the scales of justice with the networker. I mean, I have a feeling like if you really went full blast on social media about what's going on in your work, it would not go well for them. That's for some of you. What does this look like on the outside, please? Uh, my gods, the networker with Oppression. I feel you. I feel, is it that one? It's that one. <laughs> They're like that one. The uh, hermit in their career, which is that you know, restoring themselves, getting back into alignment in their psyche, their psychology, their heart, their third eye crown, with temperance. You know, it's not a pleasant process. 
but it does take time and and you always come out stronger right and if, well <laughs> it doesn't kill you makes you stronger um but we're eternal beings so nothing kills us really uh, there is no death this world cannot be escaped by death only by truth so please uh what do you got here for them outside looking in some aspect of the third dimension the physical world and the avenger archetype with i mean really the death card the phoenix most likely rising from the ashes in the eighth chakra then going to let's see what that looks like okay all right i mean i get it i get it i get it i get it so with the networker interesting uh with oppression on the outside you've got the gemini card uh the knight of uh swords the Dioscuri, look them up, Greek myth, it's a mythic tarot. Um, this is about third house communication. <laughs> You've got the double whammy in a way, right? The networker with the Gemini card. Now, this doesn't mean you're a Gemini, this doesn't mean you're dealing with a Gemini. I'm a little over that, um, because you never know who's got what, where, in their chart. This is you. I know you're not a Gemini, unless you got the placements, but that doesn't even matter. This is about you really communicating and expressing yourself. Speaking the truth, particularly if you're aligned with that Avenger. However, with that Temperance card and the Death card, not right now. Not right now. This feeling of oppression is only being triggered by what's going on in the physical world. The real ha healing is happening with this Hermit in your interior world. And remember, your career is fueled by that. Like, okay, I, I give this example. My work in the world is as the president of Drawing the Circle Productions. I don't get paid for that. I don't pay myself a salary. No, I have an S corporation. Everything goes into the corporation, and the corporation pays my bills. And that's why the, the, my CPA like, deals with all of that, and it's all well and good. Um, oh, but that doesn't mean I don't get challenged being self uh, employed that way, right? When you're the only one who does it, I get triggered a lot, particularly when <laughs> numbers drop on social media, particularly on YouTube, right? All of a sudden, six people gone, and it's like, oh, it was a glitch, or oh, we got rid of bots on your channel. I will not pay for a bot. It'll never happen. Nope, not interested. Uh, so this is really where it is because you got five of cups clarifying the outer of this temperance and this hermit there is emotional upset here of something that has been revealed to you. Um, and I'm very specific about this with this deck. This is uh, the myth of uh, Eros and Psyche, where she discovers who um, he is, because they're already married and she's never seen his face, because he is the god of love. And he wants her to love him for him, not because he's gorgeous. I can relate. <laughs> Never take yourself too seriously, right? So uh, a drop of oil from the lamp hits his leg, he freaks out and leaves, and she is left bereft. Hence, four cups spilled, one cup standing. It ends well. <laughs> Not all Greek myth does. That one does. Um, so yeah, with the emotional upset that you're dealing with, I absolutely would not post about this just yet. You, This is happening for you, not to you, and you don't want to hear that. Particularly if you are in, or really coming from that place of resorting to violence in the name of a cause, well, what if that's verbal violence? Which twin is going to do the speaking? How about you get them into balance, get them tempered, so you are able to speak truth with compassion, because truth without compassion is brutality. Thank you, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. What's great about this, the Avenger with the death card, right? Four wands. Four of wands in the eighth chakra is finding stability, is finding that balance within yourself, not like the three, not like the three and the six. Those are numbers of balance to me. And the twos as well, I guess. But that sense of now I know what I want. Right? This is right before the five, obviously it's the four of wands mark um but right after this is when they go uh jason and the argonauts this is jason and the argonauts this whole suit of of wands 
and uh, they battle the dragon to get uh, the golden fleece. So this is them reaching the island, right, and setting up camp. So it feels like you're going to really be in the right place in the right time to really see this from a higher place in terms of right use of your power on behalf of society or oneself. And I have to say, the, the, the social justice part of this is big. Now, this might not be for everybody, by the way. Go read the comments in the Taurus reading I did, Work Career Vocation. I went off on this tangent talking about Ireland when I was a kid. My dad took my brother and I there and the Blarney Stone and all of that. And one of my clients who watches the channel is like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe you said that, right? She's in a relationship with somebody in Ireland and doesn't know if she's going to like, if she's going to have to give up her company to, to, to go and be there with them. I was just like, okay. <laughs> I'm just, they play open mic night with my crown chakra, no shit, right? So, you know, and it would make sense if you're pulling back from the world with the hermit that you're going to have that stable, warm, comfortable thing, right? Space to do this, to really go through the death and the rebirth. And, and they're saying really clearly to me, yeah, some of you have already gone to ashes with this, right? You're just over it, just over it. You don't know what to do. You want to just put everyone on blast. But that's because you're, you're being upgraded. You're being upgraded. And I feel like whatever this limiting situation was, once you're on the other side of it, you'll go, oh my God, that couldn't have happened any other way. That was the best thing that could have happened that sucked beginning, middle, and end. You know, Dark Knight of the Soul. It's the most powerful spiritual transformation you can go through. That sucks, beginning, middle, and end. So, you know, not everybody dark nights about the same thing. Sometimes it's about, you know, a health issue or a relationship. This feels very, very intense emotionally, but do you understand this five is temporary. This is not a permanent situation. You're not if you do the interior healing balance and alchemy. And I'm not kidding. Awesome Restorations is is cool. well he's cute like tattoos and he's like nordic i think sweet i think he's probably nordic I was like, he's, he's always like laser burning like runes on hammers i'm like oh <laughs> he's so cute thank god he's in another country i'm not getting on a plane for a guy uh let's get you some healing mantras here yeah, you come for the, the cards, you stay for the humor. <laughs> if you don't like me, swipe left. Please take a nice deep breath. My Ascended Masters of Life, Purpose. We're looking at work, career, vocation here for this Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. What are the healing mantras that are most perfect for them? To help them heal this. There is a lot of healing going on here. I mean, three major arcana cards in their heart throat third eye crown work career vocation definitely this looks like a job for matt khan because chaka's busy please uh what do you got there for that networker archetype with the devil the oppression card with the gemini uh on the outer what do you got for the hermit in their career temperance on the inner five of cups on the outer which for a cancerian could be a fucking nightmare uh, with the Avenger, with the Death card, and every other card on the table. Hold on, hold on, I can separate out. Yep, that's the one. But now I know what you were. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. But you know, that's what this card feels like. <laughs> like, it, like the dust, the ashes have been blown. Uh, what do you got here, please? Uh, my Ascended Masters for this Avenger with the Death card, Four of Wands on the outer. I only saw the middle one. Let's see what you got. Got it. Got it. And got it. Oh, rock and roll. Oh, I think you'll dig this. This has a happy ending. <laughs> Massage therapist. Don't do it. Greeting wellness. So the networker with all of this, I think your nervous system is inflamed over this and it's really not all about this, right? It might be something that, you, that you're seeing on social media that's just freaking you out and probably there's some fear there. And so remember to try and see both sides of it. Consider the source, but also be careful with what you react to online. Uh, because the mantra, greeting wellness, balance is the key to a life of infinite miracles. 
Now, miracles are things that happen that defy natural law, but I'm a student of A Course in Miracles, and that's all about alchemy and the miracle of forgiveness, which if they called it A Course in Forgiveness, no one would have ever read the book. Um, so this is about taking care of your physical body and your nutrition and making sure you're hydrated and, you know, healing yourself energetically. It's totally about bringing yourself in to balance. Balance is the key uh, to life to a life of infinite miracles. This could also be that the aspect of your work that is social media oriented or networking oriented, you're just burnt out. I mean, this is really the card that can be that spiritual burnout. This is being in chains. This is feeling so limited. And it might have really been the right thing for you at one point, but if your nervous system is inflamed, the ego is the personality that arises when our nervous systems are inflamed, overloaded, when we're in fear. Uh, in any of its forms, guilt, shame, blame, all of that, you need to bring yourself into physical balance. And that makes sense with not just the hermit, with temperance over this emotional upset, the Five of Cups. I love this. But uh, this is one of my favorite mantras. I got a lot of favorites. Releasing expectations. Only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not. So you don't got to blow out your third eye trying to see why I wanted to go this way. That's not how this works. It's just not. But this definitely talks about the third eye in the sense of only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not. Which means even if your worst case scenario is playing out inside of you, this is saying, you know what? The highest possibility may not be what I want, but it's what I need. And that's what I'm getting from this. That's why your internal time, working that hermit, doing the internal tempering that needs to be, it, this is to make you stronger so that your interior energy system and your nervous system can work so that your creativity and wisdom can phoom, come out into the world. Work. Uh, and with the Avenger, with the death card and the four of wands, don't worry, darling, you got illuminating the truth. I'm willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome. That is a clairvoyant mantra. Clairvoyant means clear seeing. It's literally in the card. I'm willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome. And that's from the satellite. Let me put it together for you. Please take a nice deep breath. My collective pantheons of angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters of life, purpose, and the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, please. May the Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, receive all that they need in their work, in their career, and in their vocation. That in their work, they are able to bring unity through their uh, networking power in the physical world, really breaking the chains that binding them so that their communication comes from a place of balance and honor because balance is the key to a life of infinite miracles for them in their work. And that in their career, they are able to seek solitude to focus intently on their internal life, serving personal creativity, bringing themselves into balance, becoming stronger on the inside and able to feel the feelings necessary with the heartbreak or the disappointment or the shock of something that has been revealed probably on social media or through a network, could be gossip as well, uh, so that they can release expectation, that they don't have to be in control of all of this, that they can surrender their will to the divine knowing that only the highest possibilities come to be whether they envision them or not. And when what they want and what they need are the same thing, they're going to think they manifested it. <laughs> and when what they want and what they need are not the same thing, they get what they need, not what they want, they're going to think they fucked it up and it's not true. So that in their vocation, they can really tune themselves to the desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or themselves while they, while they are going through this intense spiritual transformation from lead to gold, but having the space, most likely at home, outside of work, their sacred space, so that they can have the truth illuminated because they will be willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome. So that as they heal their expressions in the world, 
maybe from that place of grace, maybe from that place of justice, but also from that place of compassion, that right use coming all the way down through their chakra system out into the world, not just healing them, not just healing the people involved here, but healing all of us, because we're in this together. And if they can enhance unity through sharing of information and engendering social awareness and empathy, then we are all the better for their brilliant, beautiful, loving, creative Cancerian hearts for the well-being of all. The well-being of all with harm to none, as I will it, so let it be done. So it be, and so it is. A little bit of a rough and tumble, I get it. <laughs> Do 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 do. They always play it in my head now. It's a lot of fun for me. I look forward to it. Look, this is a really good reading. And look, who isn't? Str well, I'm sure Bezos is not struggling in his work or occasion right now. But you never know about their personal lives. Look, I've had clients that have been so wealthy. You, you, you really, your eyes would cross. So the money's not their issue, but interpersonal dynamics, physical health, psychological health, I've seen it all. So if you want a reading, you want to go deeper into this, reach out. You can find me on Facebook, uh, Mark Angela Lyons and Holbrook. Just drop me a Facebook message uh, and we can do a Facebook video call right there or uh, you can find me on Instagram. We can do the same there. Uh, I have Zoom. Uh, you can even uh, private message me on Twitter. All my deets are in the description box and by all means, if you want to read my book, it's on Kindle, $9.99 USD. Links in the description box, less than a pack of cigarettes uh, and get some grace. And it's all in my voice and people have really been loving it. And I'm really glad it's out there and we'll see if I ever do another book again. But for now, uh, wishing you the very best and the very blessed in your work, career, vocation, my crab cakes. <laughs> now, <laughs> farewell. And blessed, blessed be.